Hey. Hello, Joseph. You're Michael, right? Yeah. You're in my science class. Like, we haven't really talked much. Yeah. Yeah, we should hang out. Yes, sure, why not? We, I think we should hang out somewhere at Andrew's walk. What like, about? Yeah, I'm sick of Wendy's. Yeah, I'm sick of Wendy's too. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Carbon dioxide is one of the main byproducts. Yeah, you're right. Carbon dioxide is one of air pollution gases. But I think carbon dioxide can also cause uh, climate change. Really? How so? I will tell you later. Uh, it's possible. So you were saying how carbon dioxide affects our atmosphere? Yeah, true. Because uh, carbon dioxide is kind of like uh, greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases can cause global warming because uh, they can trap heat in the atmosphere. So that's why the whole Earth will warm up. So that's why we have warm nights in the summer even though the, the sun isn't shining on us, right? Yeah. Well, having too many greenhouse gases could be a problem, right? Because it's warming up our climate. Over the past century, um, the average temperature of the Earth rose up one degree Celsius. So that's a lot because um, three to six degrees Celsius lower than average is good enough to put us into an ice age. Yeah, that's a lot. The uh, today's average temperature is much higher than before, so that's, maybe the ice will melt and sea level will rise. So I think we and even wildlife such as polar bear will be in danger. So yeah, this is pretty much our fault because of our daily use of cars and such. And I heard that um, terms called, caused by humans are called anthropogenic. And so global warming is pretty much anthropogenic. So back to the cars. You're talking about how they affect our climate. Yeah, the concentration of uh, carbon dioxide increased a lot this year. Like the average number of carbon dioxide is uh, 315 parts per million. 1960, but it increased a lot. In uh, 2000, it turned into uh, like 370. But plants can also help us to uh, absorb carbon dioxide by photosynthesis. But many of the trees are destroyed by us. Well, like, but there are other things that produce like carbon dioxide, right? So. I mean, like, there's things that, like, power plants, like, furnaces, ships, mining equipment, and stuff like that, that produce carbon dioxide. And cars can't be the only things that... Yeah, you're right. But there are more than just cars. Actually, the leading cause of carbon dioxide is power plants. Power plants uh, produce for nearly 40% of greenhouse gases. And for the, the second one is cars. Cars produce 30%. But carbon dioxide is the only, uh, only gas in greenhouse gases. For the rest of them, they are also in something else. Well, the more you know, we can't be the only ones affecting our climate, right? Yeah, at least not in that way. The atmosphere also affects us, uh, also affects climate change. Actually, atmosphere is very important for us. For example, if there's no atmosphere, the sunlight will shine on our skin directly and that will lead to skin cancer. Well, that's cool because like the atmosphere protects us from the sun's deadly rays but it still traps in heat? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Well, technically the atmosphere affects our climate too. Well, really? Well, yeah, because water moves around the world, right? And it takes heat with it and travels from one part of the world to another. And? and it also acts as a heat reservoir. Like places that are close to water have a much more moderate climate. Places such as Vancouver or London, England, um, 
Yeah. Well, I think we have had a goal for a long time. 